congratulate uh, Kyle and, and, and Utah. I mean, uh, uh, you know, obviously they were the better team tonight. Man, it was a very, very physical battle. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, congratulate them. They got it done. Uh, man, I'm really, I'm really proud of our guys, and, and I couldn't be more proud of how hard they played. Um, you know, the effort, I mean, you look at some of the individual efforts, was phenomenal. Our guys battled the whole time. I really felt like we were going to win the game the whole time. Obviously, the big change was, um, uh, you know, getting backed up on our own end. I think on the uh, being inside our own 10, not converting that series. I think we had second and four. We don't convert that series. Shank the punt out. That that was big. Got to give them credit, man. They, 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 I tell you, you know, we worked that play too. We worked the speed option on third and two. Knew knew pretty much that was coming, and they blocked us. You know, and um, really proud of our guys, though. Obviously, you look at the rushing yards. You know, had two yards rushing at halftime. You know, our guys really, I mean, played stellar against the run. Uh, we had, you know, seven or eight, you know, mental errors in the back end, leaving people uh, uncovered. That, that can't happen. So we had some mental mistakes. But, man, our guys played extremely hard. Special teams was phenomenal. I mean, Tim White, not, not only that, the blocks and, and how, how we, you know, Sean Coach Slocum's done a tremendous job with our special teams. And uh, so really, I mean, I mean, we're playing better than we've ever played in that area. Um, uh, defensively, the big thing was, you know, letting them get get out of, you know, we, we got, got, got it kind of under control in the second half. But, you know, um, um, creating the set, the third and longs in the first half, they converted two or three that we sh they shouldn't have converted. Got to give them credit there. But, you know, really proud of our guys and, and, and just the effort that they gave. And uh, the difference in the game was, was uh, you know, I think um, that set of downs where we filled the ball inside our five, um, and, you know, we had the short punt out of bounds. That hurt us. Um, and then they score on the third down play. And then the turnover on the read zone. That was the difference in the game. I mean, you look at the game, and uh, we couldn't run the ball, and they couldn't either. Um, it boiled down to passing the football, and, you know, um, that's, that's about, about what happened. I mean, they executed a couple of plays. We had great coverage, you know, early in the game. But, um, uh, man, really proud of the effort and, you know, uh, Gump and Tim White and, you know, Tim White, the things he does is phenomenal. I mean, he almost blocked that last field goal. I mean, he jumped over the top and crying shame we let him break and go, go on a long run there late in the game and we're in desperation trying to get him down, you know, um, because, you know, our guys, uh, our guys uh, you, know, you know, played pretty well. I thought we played pretty well on special teams. I thought we played pretty well defensively. Um, and they, they did some good things. They had some guys really step up. So, you know, uh, give them credit. They were the better team tonight. And, and uh, their crowd was, was impressive. It was, it was a very difficult atmosphere to play in. But uh, never doubted that we would be able to get it done. Our guys were phenomenal on our sideline, even when we're driving the ball down and, uh, with, you know, three minutes left in the game. So, questions? Coach, can you talk about some of the pressure you got on Wilson? Uh, before the, this game, Utah had just given up two sacks all season. You guys got five sacks tonight. Our plan was to um, obviously stop the run. Uh, you know, we, we, we had the act, you know, obviously we're a team, that's what we do. We get, you know, tackles for loss on base downs, and then we force third and longs, and then we get after the quarterback. So. Pretty much all that went as planned, and uh, I thought we got after him really well. And you know, I thought he showed a lot of character because you know we've really—it's not the first time. I mean, we've 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 uh, we've done pretty well in the past getting to him, and and uh, I thought he did a good job. You know, uh, uh, he had some plays that were big, and you know, what kind of hurt us a little bit was, you know, we left a couple of guys uncovered. Uh, we had some guys come off their men and stuff like that. Uh, just just eight or nine just errors that we don't make because we needed to shut them down. We, you, know, with the, you know, the way the game was going, it was, gonna, it was a defensive struggle. And um, so we made too many mental mistakes in the back end uh, that hurt us. But uh, how we got to them is that's the nature of what we do. Um, at no point did we ever feel like they ever established a running game. And that's a pretty good running team. I mean, they're, they're a pretty good football team. I uh, thought we did a good job handling the quarterback on the read zone stuff. We did a pretty good job. They got out on one was a speed option, you know, down there that was that was tough. But uh, so we got I don't know how many TFLs we had, but I know we, we probably hit a pretty good number, pretty good amount. We we had a whole bunch of pressure and a whole bunch of sacks on him. So you know, that that all went as planned, and uh, you know they hit some big plays and 
and that was kind of different. But the difference in the game was field position when it counted. Uh, you know, uh, sitting there, uh, you know, we take the lead on the safety, and uh, I really thought we were going to win because I didn't think they could, they'd, they'd be able to score. And then the the, the, the dramatic shift in the field position, and um, well, I thought the I thought that series when you know we, we have a good run at second four, and then. Uh, we don't convert that, and then we have the bad punt. I don't know what uh, they got to do probably on our 40-yard line or 35-yard line, something like that, inside our 40. So, as far as, as far as that, that I mean, that's what's kind of frustrating. There's a whole bunch of things went really well tonight, and uh, but at the end of the day, you know, you can't, you know, run for 15 yards and have a chance to win the game. Doesn't. How did you guys uh, get the ball in the red zone or having trouble just getting to the end zone? Is there any certain well, I mean, we had one. You know, we had a great play. Devin executed. We just, you know, we didn't catch the ball. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'll have to look at the film and stuff. I mean, you know, I thought in the second half we started moving the ball. And I thought Devin Lucian played well. I thought Tim White did some good things. Uh, you know, we had some times where Mike puts the ball there and the receiver's not looking. Just some things that just, I mean, I didn't, you know, just got to look out of rhythm a little bit. But the big thing was... You know, it obviously hurt us not having DeMario because I think that, uh, you know, I know a lot of, there were several times in the game I pointed out to, to, to the offense that, you know, the inside zone was there. We're just not, we're not, wasn't hitting it. And and so that that, that hurt us, I think, uh, you know, some there with him not playing. But, uh, you know, uh, in the day, you know, uh, you know, they, they dominated our rushing game and we dominated theirs. And uh, it boiled down to one really, really costly turnover and, and one big shift. And got to give their guy credit. I'll tell you, I thought Sean did a great job. I'll tell you, we attacked him now. We attacked that, the punter. The punter's the best I've ever seen. I mean, he's really special. You know, um, you know, like to have let that ball go in the end zone instead of field going five. I, I just I think that was the pivotal. And I thought we'd survived it, you know. And uh, we give up the speed option. That, that was the that was the game right there. That was a big big turnaround there. So even after that, I still thought we still thought we, we were going to win. You know, because our guys our guys uh, had great great attitude on the sideline. Coach, uh, coach, you emphasized the um, defense's game that special teams was was a huge key. Uh, they scored all 18 points on the points for special teams. I thought they played great. I mean, I thought, uh, I mean, Tim White, I mean, you know, it was phenomenal kickoff return. I thought Gump did a tremendous job on, on punt return. I mean, for us to, you know, to, I mean, that, that really, that one right there, that, that hurt us. We have a, you know, you know, we go over that in practice when that, when Gump breaks, man, we're trying to break, man, the screen blocks get out of the way. And what kind of happened at the end of that run, one of our young guys kind of got in the way. And, and if that would have been a touchdown, that would have been a big deal. But, you know, whatever it takes, man. I mean, that's what I loved about the attitude tonight. There was nobody frustrated or whatever. They got a really good defensive football team. And they, 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 were, they played really well. And that's why they were able to win tonight. Uh, and they got really good special teams. Uh, but, you know, for our returners to be able to do that and the way our guys attacked and – and got after them. I, I thought I thought it, I thought our guys uh, you know really did a tremendous job. And you know, Sean deserves all the credit. I mean, he's it's been a it's been a process, and uh, I, I am very pleased with that. I think Sean's done a tremendous job. And then our players, I I just like the attitude that our players are playing with special teams. You know, um, they take great pride in that. You know, we got the number one kick returner in the conference in Tim. And, and they'll kick off return, and and we got guys, young guys, are taking pride in it. So I, I thought that was, you know, you know, other than the punts, you know, those punts killed us, you know, and obviously that, that you know, we also we punted the ball well, uh, you know, we just punted the ball too often. So, and that, so the di difference was is, and that, I think they do a good job of that they're very well coached, and and they were just going to you know, play the field position deal and. That when it swung that way and we got pinned inside our five, we needed to get that ball out of there, and that was I thought that was the big deal. And then obviously turning the ball over on on end on a run play was was the second thing. Chris, and the last one, Fabian. Coach, I know that philosophically you're a run first, run play action pass. How tough is it when you are able to run the football? Um, on the balance of your team and, and maybe with uh, 
from the play call decision with Mike with the, the second quarter that you mentioned? Well, I mean, you got to call what you call, man. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, if we hit the shot, it's a big deal. So, you know, um, you know, we, we, we plan all that stuff out. But, uh, and I think that they were struggling on the football is one of the reasons why, why we did that. So I don't question any of that. Um, you know, it, it's frustrating. I thought, I thought he did a good job making halftime adjustments because we came out and were able to move the ball and we did some good things. But, uh, uh, you know, it's just kind of, you're not going to consistently score points. Uh, if, if you can't, you know, run the football, and we, there were, there were, we had it there. We, we, we missed quite a few and had some misreads and some things like that. But, uh, you know, um, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I thought we, you know, from a throwing standpoint, um, you know, uh, want, you know, started going out there and throwing the ball more on first down and moved the ball. Uh, the deal was, and you know, we need to score touchdowns. We got down the red zone. That was another big factor. So. Uh, so things after Texas A&M and USC was that you guys self-destructed after being up 18-14 tonight. Is it fair to say that that happened again? No, I wouldn't say that. I think this was a totally different game than that game. Uh, just looking to find the right about, I guess. But uh, I mean, that that anybody watch this game, that game, two totally different games. Um, that, that that game there, we did self-destruct. I don't think we self-destructed tonight. I think the difference was was the the, the change in, in field positions. Uh, is what the difference was. I mean, um, they, they had a the football team, and, and they were the better team tonight. Uh, did we play very good offensively? Well, we had 15-yard rush and 242 yards passing, so that, that wasn't it. But as far as, you know, that game was a game we had sacks and couldn't protect the quarterback and all that. You know, we did, we did, we did some good things tonight, and I thought our guys rallied and, and did some good things in the second half. But uh, at the end of the day, we lost. And so, uh, um, you know, um, that, that obviously we know the magnitude of this game, and that was that was tough. So I don't, I don't even think about things like that. So um, you know, I, I don't think we self-destructed. I think our guys played their hearts out, and and um, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't get it done. Thank you. Okay.